It was an honor to be here with the Cherokee Nation today. We got to sign the first of the kind tribal transportation agreement, giving the tribe flexibility and much more sovereignty over its federal transportation funds. I got to walk with the chief and some tribal officials and see this beautiful bridge here, which uh, I think shows the incredible work that's happening here with the Cherokee Nation. We are really looking forward to continuing a partnership with you all. And thank you for your leadership. You are now, I think, a model for tribes all around the country. We know that our partner here, the Cherokee Nation, will probably be speaking with some of their fellow tribal nations and helping them walk through the, the process. We think, we hope this is what the future looks like. Again, the Biden-Harris administration, one that is committed to more sovereignty and self-determination. Thank you. Um, I just want to ask about the school bus. I heard you all talking about something about safety and efficiency with that. If you could explain. To yeah, it, it is, it is a, a big priority for the Biden-Harris administration to do more to electrify school buses. It's actually been a cause near and dear to the vice president's heart for many years. And I actually just got to stand with her and the EPA administrator, Michael Regan, a few weeks ago to announce uh, $500 million to start investing more in electric school buses. They are obviously safer, better for the environment, greener. And one thing I think particularly important in neighborhoods that have typically you know, felt the, the effects of a lot of emissions from school buses, both the children and the, the folks around the schools and the local neighborhoods, obviously clean buses do away with that air pollution. So we are very, very excited to do more. And it's great to see this bus out here. I'm really looking forward actually to partnering with the Cherokee Nation to help you bring more of these clean buses here to your school communities. Absolutely. If I could add, you know, that the primary benefit uh, is what the Deputy Secretary just outlined in terms of safety and efficiency and what it means for communities. But one thing I think about is the response of the kids at our school, Sequoia School, to this bus is they want to ride on it. And what it tells me is there's this opportunity not only to provide safety and efficiency, but also tell a story to these young people about energy issues in this country and what we can do collectively uh, to reduce our de dependence on uh, forms of energy that are that are really getting in scarce supply and are having an impact on the environment. Uh, our Deputy Chief, Brian Warner, just made the comment that, look, if young people are talking about this they're influencing their households and they're really influencing the generation that's coming up. So these are also conversation starters and they're important conversation starters, secondary to the primary benefit of efficiency and safety, but something that I think is significant as we build this out across the country because this generation is the one that's going to frankly save us from a lot of these calamities uh, and they need to be uh, understanding of their energy. <laughs> okay, we have time for one last question if you have one last question. Describe the magnitude of this entire agreement tried for us. Well, it's hard to overstate it because it symbolizes some great things. The government of the United States' commitment to its partnership uh, and respect for the Cherokee Nation and the Cherokee Nation uh, demonstrating the capacity to execute on a mission that's important for the Cherokee people, but it's important for everyone in this region, and that is making sure we build that infrastructure, making sure that people are safe, making sure we solve challenges in transit, which are still difficult uh, issues in rural America, particularly rural uh, Indian country. And so I think it symbolizes great progress for the Cherokee Nation. It represents, uh, it reflects a great friendship between the United States and the Cherokee Nation, a great deal of trust, uh, but I think we have to keep this going. I mean, we ought to be on a trajectory in this country in which we're making this kind of progress. Today symbolizes that progress, but what follows is gonna be great substance because we're gonna have funding sooner, planning further ahead, and being able to avail ourselves of, I think, some great uh, innovations, including these electric buses and a great deal of other conventional infrastructure projects that we've got to get done in this region. And people who live in these small towns are going to have the shot that they need in the economy, and that's what it's about. And then lastly, what it's going to do to help us sustain these small communities across the Cherokee Nation where our lifeways still are held dear, where our culture is rooted, where our language is spoken. That's another reason to do this today, and it's going to get it done. I have one last question. Are you going to the bridge? We can do it up there. Uh, we are not going to the bridge. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, well, to my understanding, this is one of the first, uh, this kind of agreement for it is um, the, the first, the first, the first um, yeah. agreement. And what spotlighted um, the Cherokee Nation in order to make this a possibility? I mean, I think you heard today, obviously, this is a, this is a tribal nation which has for many years been, I think, increasing their capacity, doing more and more for their community, and forming deeper bonds with the federal government had a terrific working relationship, as you heard from the chief, and 
part of what our administration is, one of our priorities, not all the answers come from Washington. We want to empower and work closely with local communities, with tribal areas, with rural areas. We have a lot of new dollars to bring to the table, but we want to make sure we're really working closely on the ground to, to meet the needs of all these local communities. So this is for us, we hope, a template for a lot of agreements to come. Very good. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you both. Thank you guys. Uh,